What can you tell us about this $1 trillion plan to build new nukes? Yeah, it's a bipartisan push, and it keeps being inflated in costs. I think the latest number uh, is around $1.7 trillion with a T in the next couple of decades. And I think this layers into you know a broader and deeper problem. Uh, someone of, of my age can remember in real time at that time the refusal at first of hardly any Democrats to oppose the war in Vietnam. We should say really the war on Vietnam. And it took so much organizing and activism and agitation to change that. Meanwhile, people are being killed in Vietnam as well as Laos and Cambodia. And so we had someone very brave like Senator Wayne Morris speaking up and denouncing uh, the, the war in Vietnam when he was a Democrat in the Senate with a Democrat in the White House, Lyndon Johnson. So here we are um, in early 2022, and where are the Wayne Morses? People in the LA area may think of their Democratic congressperson in the House. I can tell you, there are no Wayne Morses in the House or the Senate right now. As this escalation goes on to confront Russia around Ukraine, which is a from the United States government basically saying to Russia, do as we say, not as we do. We want to put all this weaponry on your borders. We would never tolerate it for a moment in Mexico or Canada. And where are the members of Congress? Well, they're prattling these platitudes about diplomacy and they're supporting the president of their party in the White House. We've seen this real life bad movie before. It's cowardice and its deference to partisan power. And we shouldn't put up with it. We as, as constituents, as human beings, should demand from our members of Congress, stop this warmongering, this brinkmanship, confront Biden and tell him to stop it.